Now let's see how we um, apply this new node voltage method to a circuit. Let's start with just um, an easy example with one node. So suppose we have a circuit like this with some resistors. We'll put in two voltage sources. Um, I'll let the first one be 12 volts. This one can be 9 volts. We'll let R1 be 100 ohms. This is R2 is 75 ohms. We'll let this be R3 is equal to 60 ohms. And uh, let's follow the steps for the node voltage method. The first thing we want to do is we need to label all nodes. This circuit only has one node and it's in between all the resistors right here. So I'm going to go ahead and label this V1. The next thing we have to do is we need to designate a reference node. And the reference node is almost always ground, but sometimes it's not. Um, we're going to have ground this bottom wire that's connected to the negative side of our sources as our reference node. And that way when we um, subtract our node voltages from it, the value of this is just going to be zero. Then the third step is we want to use KCL to write a current equation at each node. Okay, so that means that at node V1, by KCL, we have that um, if I have a current coming in here that's generated by my 12 volt source, I'll label this I1. I'm going to have a current coming into the node this way that's generated by this 9 volt source, I'll label this I2. And then I'm going to have a current coming out that goes down the through the through um, R3 resistor and I'll label this I3. So KCL tells us that the sum of currents coming in is equal to the sum of currents going out. So our equation um, based on these currents that we labeled here is going to be I1 plus I2 is equal to I3. And you don't need to be too worried about if you get the direction of the arrows correct because it actually doesn't matter. And when you go to solve this, if you get one of these currents as being a negative current, then you just know that the arrow actually goes the other way and you can um, fix it. Okay, great, so that's the third step for our node voltage process. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to use Ohm's law to rewrite our KCL equation in terms of V and R. To rewrite equation in terms of V and R. Okay, great, so here's how the substitution is gonna work. I can replace I1 with the difference of the nodes divided by the resistor between. Okay, so that's gonna be 12 minus V1 divided by 100. And the reason why I start with a 12 and subtract V1 instead of starting with a V1 and subtracting 12 is because I'm following the direction of the current. So this is gonna be my higher potential to a lower potential in this direction. So this will be 12 minus V1 divided by the resistor between, which is 100. Next, um, I have that I2 is going to start over here. So this is gonna be nine minus V1 divided by the resistor between, which is 75. Nine volts minus V1 divided by 75. And then for I3, since my direction of my current's going this way, I'm gonna start at this node, V1, minus zero divided by the resistor between, which is 60. So V1 over 60. Now um, I make this substitution for all these currents into my KCL equation. Okay, so that gives me 12 minus V1 over 100 plus nine minus V1 over 75 is equal to V1 over 60. Now I'm going to do a little bit of arithmetic, so 12 over 100 minus V1 over 100 plus 9 over 75 minus V1 over 75 is equal to V1 over 60. So that means that um, these are my constants. These are going to combine to be 6 over 25. And when I bring all my V1 terms over to this side of the equation, I'm going to get 1 over 25 times V1. So this implies that V1 is equal to 6 volts. So I now have the voltage at this node. So suppose I'm asked for what's the power dissipated by um, this 
60 ohm resistor. Well, since I know the voltage drop between this node and ground, that makes the voltage drop across this um, R3 resistor 6 volts. Then I can use Ohm's law to find the current, and I can plug that into my power equation IV to get the power dissipated here. Um, so if you'd like to try that on your own and let me know how it goes, and in the next example I'll show you how to do um, this same process but with two nodes.